Hello and welcome to another quick tips video. In this driving lesson video we're going to talk about dealing with hazards and the steps you should take to overtake obstructions like parked cars as you can see here. It's all about the ABC rule. So the A is the approach, the B is beside and then the C is when you're coming back in after the hazard or obstruction. So here you can see that the yellow car is slightly more out this way than the blue car. So the A is the approach. So you would check your mirrors indicate and move out early and gradually like that. Don't, don't come like this and then, and then come out the last, and swerve out the last minute. You don't want to be doing that. So move out early and gradually as if the blue car was out the same distance from the curb as the yellow car. Provided it's safe and, and make sure to give way to oncoming cars if there are any oncoming cars. So move out gradually, aim to drive in a fairly straight line, keeping about a, a door length of distance between the red and the yellow car, and then maintaining a straight line if possible. And then just, just before you come back in then, just give a quick glance of the middle and left side mirror to make sure no cyclist is coming down here or anybody's going to uh, be in your way. And quick glance at the mirrors and then just come in nice and gradually then um, towards the left of centre position on the road. So that's basically it. A is approach, so move out gradually, giving way to oncoming cars. B is beside, so stay a nice distance from the parked cars. And always remember to give cyclists extra room, at least a metre and a half for cyclists. Um, that's A and B. And then C then, when you're coming back in, come back in gradually, checking the mirrors as you do so. As always, planning ahead is key with this situation dealing with hazards. So that's basically it for now. Um, up on screen there you will see another video that I made a couple of months ago. It's a more detailed video on dealing with hazards and obstructions. So for a more in-depth knowledge and demonstration of how to deal with hazards, please check out that video as well. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you soon.